Welcome back to the Raw Food Muscle. I'm your host Santiago and today I'm going to be showing you how to grow some strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and some blackberries. Oh my berry, what is this all about? So over here we got some blueberries. Now these blueberries, um, they're not ready yet. They're probably going to be ready in about a month or so. Now with blueberries, they really like acidic soil. So if you don't have, you know, acidic soil like me, I have um, some sandy soil, then you might want to put some some peat moss in there mix it up maybe like i don't know 50 50 so put like 50 percent meat meat uh peat moss, peat moss <laughs> like meat moss meat, peat moss and then 50 percent uh a rich organic soil like uh, leaf compost or something like that now but what they are the things you can do to grow blueberries like seasonal uh so like you don't have them all growing all at one time you can get a couple of different varieties i have blue crop and i have tiff blue t-i-f blue and they they um they fruit at different times of the year i'm not exactly sure because i'd be forgetting <laughs> myself uh but over the here, birds eat them all by i know time. man the birds oh i got a little secret um, oh yeah well one i got my cats look check them out they're around the neighbors yeah see they're scoping out the area <laughs> making sure the birds ain't coming to eat my blueberries <laughs> <laughs> but uh, over here we got some blueberries in pots okay guys so this is what i'm saying is that you can grow the stuff in pots and it's definitely easy to do as long as they're getting some sunlight you should be fine and this is another blue crop i think it's called again yeah yeah blue crop and um, they will produce fruit and this one is still like i said before it's got a few weeks to go uh, but I got them in this pot and, uh, and I just did a, a combination of some peat moss and some organic leaf compost. Okay, so uh, they will definitely do fine here. Here's a smaller one. This is one of the newest ones I got last year. And uh, it's got a little bit of fruit in there. So he's still young. He's still young. But one little trick I learned, and over here, these are the Tiff Blues. And this whole thing right here is this all blueberries now they're still young and i got a little snake in there can you <gasps> see the snake <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a fake snake but i heard from um for some people that uh you know uh talked to a couple of gardeners they said if you do put uh a fake snake in there the birds will think it's real trees bush, bushes it doesn't matter yeah yeah so it doesn't matter what color they are either. Yes. They could be like bright yellow or whatever. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and over, your dollar store. Over here we got the rest of the blueberries. And um, I think this is also blue. I think all of these are blue crop. And now this one, he took the beating the most because I bought this guy, I can't remember, some nursery. And when I first got it, I was all gung-ho because I had all these blueberries already on it. And when you've had something that has the fruit already on it and you transplant it into the ground it's just too much of a shock for the for the plant and uh and end up losing a lot of the berries and then it just doesn't do a good uh, job surviving so just an fyi if you have something that you're looking through at a nursery that has already fruit on it just leave it in its container wait for the fruit to completely go through its process pick the fruit and then you know once it's going through its dormant stage then you go ahead and plant them in the ground it's just better that way if you want to really save those fruit because i was all like oh my god look at all these fruit i'm gonna have instant like orchard of, uh, of of berries and then next thing you know i planted them and it just it just went through a shock system so also plant them in the morning or in the evening yeah if you're gonna plant uh something it's better to do it in the morning or the evening because that way the plant isn't uh, taking on all that sun and going through too much of a transition. So you do if you do it at night, it has a chance to really focus its, its energy on the root. So that's a little key point for all y'all who want to get into some gardening. So, and over here we have some blackberries. So this whole area right here are blueberries and blackberries. Well, we do have a couple of um, trees. Uh, pink ladies. These are apple trees. We have one here and one on the other side. And uh, I'll, I'll show you that kind of stuff on a later date. Today is all about blueberries, but these are the blackberries. And these blackberries will grow really easily here in this area. Or we're on the East Coast in the uh, Maryland area, which is close to uh, the suburbs of Washington, D.C., uh, where it is the suburbs of D.C. And um, 
these berries, uh, blackberries, they're, they're all different kinds, but these are the ones that don't have the thorns on them, and they do well all year long. It doesn't get as much sun exposure as I would like, just because of the, 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 the spot it's in by the fireplace over here. But, you know, I only have so much uh, that I can do. So let me go ahead and show you the other spot. I got my blackberries. Let's okay, go. Okay, guys. So over here, my next spot where the blackberries are. And let me just show you how tall these things get. And this is nothing <laughs> compared to what they could have gotten. I already cut off about four, no, probably like three feet of... Uh, of, of, of the blueberries because they were just getting Blackberry. that blackberries because they were just getting too too big now over here And I, ha I have like one two three four five spots This one I transplanted from another location up on the hill just because it wasn't getting enough Sun and I did it late in the springtime again. I should have did it, you know in the fall Because you know when they're starting to get through this really growing phase and blossoming and all that kind of stuff too much of a shock so as you can see here all this black it's just not doing well so I mean yeah it's got some green here uh, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is cutting this back cutting it back and uh, that way it can focus most of its energy on on the good part so but yeah let's take a look at these and zoom in over here and this is where the blackberries are gonna start growing this is a flower and uh, they're gonna start growing the blackberry soon enough but yep that's what it looks like we're still in this baby stage wait I saw one where did it go on my camera oh there it is <laughs> All right, guys, enough of the blackberries. Now it's time to go check out the raspberries. Okay, guys, so now we're out in front of my house, and this is one of the, my favorite, favorite things to eat are raspberries, and they will grow so good. They spread like wildfire, man. Check it out. Now, last year's I had these growing, and I actually had this trellis hooked up, or, or you know, um, uh, some string hooked up, so that way it wouldn't fall over. Now, because this is a second year, what I did was at the end of the year, I cut them down to about, I don't know, two inches or so, down to the ground, uh, because what will happen is if you leave them there, it'll just basically, the vines will basically just die off and you won't have as good a production the next following year. So make sure at the end of the year, when it's cold, to cut them down, and then by the springtime, everything will start growing right back up. Now, the good thing about raspberries is that they do spread. That's good for me because I like more strawberry, I mean raspberries. So take a look at, uh, this is still in its early stages. You do see some of the flowers right here. And uh, they're going to probably start being produced uh, some fruit in the next uh, three, four weeks, something like that. Maybe, no, nah, nah, maybe like two weeks. These are starting to come in already. So if you got the space and uh, you got some, you know, place that make sure they get good sun exposure because I did have some that were in my backyard behind the house and they didn't do as good as these, as these are doing right now. So sun is key, guys. So let's go check out the strawberries. <laughs> okay, the key point to strawberries is sun, sun, sun. I noticed this because last year I had all my strawberries in the back of the house that did develop, but not like they're doing now. Check it out. Look at all of the strawberries, man. They're just all doing really well. You got them all hidden in here. And then what I did was I just basically plant, planted them pretty close okay. together. Over here, I got them scattered out into one, two, three locations, and all the strawberries are growing. Look at this big one right here. Can you zoom in? See that guy? Mm -hmm. Let me get close. I don't know where you're going. I'm right here. Oh. So I got this guy. Look how pretty that one is, man. And I already picked some of these already. And here's another one here. This is they're everywhere. I already picked some. Yeah, we've picked yes, three times, yeah. Okay. And as you can see, see these are, and the taste is, man, they're nice and sweet. And the good thing about strawberries is that, you know, these are growing now. We already picked some. You got some over here. They're gonna continue to grow. And so, you know, just one thing that you want to do. To make sure some people say well you can do one of two things you can either plant a whole lot of strawberries so that way when the when the bird starts coming around you have enough for yourself or two keep them in a caged in area again to keep you know the rabbits and, and birds out but hey do what you can 
you know, you can only do so much with with nature running around all the time or do what I do and I got cats and they on the prowl looking out for stuff. So, all right guys, that's enough for the strawberries, raspberry, blueberries and all the kind of berries. I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm out of here and I'll see you guys next time on the Raw Food Muscle.